We're back on location today for another style story here at James Decor. I'm here with Marnie. Thanks for having us today. Hi, thanks for coming in. So we're going to be uh, almost taking a trip to the art museum here, yeah. but uh, it's actually art, folks, that you can take home. We're uh, first standing in front of this beautiful mm -hmm. color piece. Marnie, what are we looking at here? Oh, we're looking at a beautiful new piece that we just got in. A lot of these pieces that you're going to see we just got in, they're all new and fresh. Yeah. So this is kind of a really playful, fun one. You see a little bit of the photorealism, but then you also got that vibrant pink, kind of like a fantasy-esque. So just a lot happening but it's really a punch. Yeah, is it is. Cool. It's a punch of color. And uh, speaking of punches of color, that's something that people shouldn't be uh, shy to do no. in their own homes, right? No, and it's not even that you have to have a lot of color going on already. You can Art is something that can kind of fit with just about anything. And so. uh, this is an abstract piece, um, but uh, it, it even gets more abstract. As we it can, yes, it the, can. The gallery, Very right? cubist, all sorts of different abstracts, yeah. Well, folks, we have a variety of different uh, styles and different art pieces that are available right here for you to purchase at James mm -hmm. Decor. Marty, I think I'm ready to uh, see the tour here. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Marty, this is a different look for us here, and yeah. I love the gold accents on this one, I, and um, I, I think it's uh, we're holding this one up here because uh, it's yeah, so we, new, right? we just got it in, and I just we had to show it because it's just pretty amazing. Yeah, so. I haven't even had time to hang it up yet, I which know. I think is awesome. So <laughs> let's talk about the aesthetic here because uh, this piece uh, strikes me as elegant. Very elegant. You've got the symmetry there. You've got gold and silver and just white. It's just very simple and romantic, but also very elegant. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, we've talked about color and the use of color. I love the gold here, but uh, this one's maybe a little bit more toned down from some of the mm -hmm. other ones that we've seen, which uh, if maybe folks want to go this uh, route, it's also a good route for it to be able to go. It's a great route. I um, mean, you can mix color somewhere else in your house, or even if you've just kind of got a lot of those neutrals happening, a lot of those really simple um, kind of earth tones, it would definitely work. Also, uh, I love how John Richards uses a lot of gold, yeah. and so I feel like this would go really nice. Absolutely, with definitely pieces. with John Richard. <laughs> Marnie, I love texture and art, mm -hmm. and you can really see the beautiful texture uh, yeah. on this particular piece. I also, I also love texture in my home because uh, I actually, I love when people touch it and uh, <laughs> to be able to experience it, which I know is probably uh, pretty abnormal. But uh, texture pieces <laughs> here at James Decor are plentiful, and so talk about uh, uh, what yeah. make why texture is such a great piece in your home. We have a lot of those. It just adds kind of a three-dimensional quality to your wall instead of just a flat canvas. And then a lot of these pieces kind of have almost like an acrylic coating. Yeah. And then the kind of the little glass crystals on top. It's just a really interesting touch to just about any art piece. Well, the, the art piece in itself, it looks like it has a bunch of texture, and yeah. I love how the glazing kind of brings it out. But uh, you also have a lot of other texture pieces here that um, are maybe not necessarily this uh, this style, but uh, they're actually painted on, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's different ways to do the texture, um, and there's different ways, like, in, in, kind of to get your paint a little bit thicker is going to create a texture, um, natural elements, um, even things like we've got one that even has some shells on it. Oh, wow. So there's all different ways to create the texture, but yeah. And how does texture bring the look together in our homes? I think it just kind of pulls, especially if you have a lot of texture going on in your pillows and in your other furniture, it just kind of creates it moving your eye up to the wall even. Yeah. So it just really kind of brings it full circle. Yeah, like I said, I know I probably shouldn't touch this piece, but uh, <laughs> I, that's what I love about texture pieces. Yeah. Marnie, what are we looking at here? I love this one. Mm. It's kind of a mixture of what we've talked about throughout the whole segment. It's color, it's texture. This one's really pretty. A little bit. Um, it's got the large scale quality. It's just absolutely huge. And then it's got that abstract. It does have a little bit of that texture, which we kind of talked about before, where you've mm -hmm. got kind of the thicker paint, a little yeah. bit of metallic. So it is kind of a mixture, but we definitely mostly kind of categorize it probably as an abstract. This is an abstract mm -hmm. painting. This is what I love about abstract folks is that I guarantee you each one of us probably has a different opinion of what it looks like here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. I think it's a beautiful piece. I also, I love the size of this one because that's, if you're going to go big and bold with your art, you Why might not? as well go big and bold. Right? Yeah, and if you have a really long console, it's great for above that, or um, even in like a bedroom above a bed, those are great places for things like this. And then not to mention also, if folks have those pieces that they love, but maybe they're just looking for a different frame, you're able to help people here at James We are. We do have a custom framing department. We have a great lady here that's able to do that. And so if there's a frame, if you want a different frame on your art, we can do that. We can change it out, or even your art pieces that you already have, we can frame those. We can do just about anything. So. And not to mention, folks, if you'd like to come to James Decor mm -hmm. and check out all of the beautiful art that they have on display. It's like a museum here. We're going to put some uh, contact information on your screen so you can see a phone number as well as a website. Marnie, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for coming in.